So now really quickly, um, I'm gonna explain what we got going on here. So we have a power supply here. Obviously I can adjust the voltage to whatever I want, but we're gonna pretend like we're kind of set on a certain voltage. So we need a high enough voltage though. Fortunately, this isn't gonna work at as low of a voltage as I like. Um, so we're just gonna put it at the max voltage I can use with this power supply. So this is a six ohm resistor. I just had current going through it. It's a, a little hot. Um, but it's a 50 watt resistor, so it'll get really hot. You don't want to touch it uh, when it's really, um, you know, probably keep it like 25 watts or below. And you should probably, you know, add extra cooling to it. But in any case, it's a 6 ohm resistor. That is the main takeaway. They already attached the uh, wires and heat uh, shrunk them right there. And a lot of people use them in automobiles, whether that's good to do or not. They also come with, uh, with connectors. So this is uh, right here. Um, one of the connectors, you can take a straight wire right there. You could even punch out a little plastic thing in there, um, but there's a little plastic stopper. Um, that should be easy to remove if you want to slide a wire through. But yeah, you can just push another wire to the stopper and then clamp them together. There's a little metal uh, blade right there. So instead, um, I got uh, this little barrel plug right there that you can screw down. So I just screwed that down to the wire. And we have this... Uh, adapter right there so this takes ac from you know like the household uh, power right there and um i did notice uh before that uh i tried to find my other one i have two of these but uh where there is 12 volts i don't know if that's gonna focus where there's 12 volts i was getting like 13 something uh out so i think that may have been how i fried my breadboard power supplies because they have like a max of like 12 volts and um but you could use them like at nine but we're not going to worry about that right now in any case when i get to six it looks like we get you know relatively close to uh six volts out um so yeah that's plugging into the wall so obviously that goes the opposite directions one way in, and then the other one side's positive the other side's negative for a period of time and then they flip the other side's negative and the other side's positive um but they have diodes so that diverts um wherever positive is in the circuit let's say to the right and then negative to the left. If that uh, is positive, it uh, crosses that way. Well, this one's negative, it crosses that way. And then when it flips, so that one's negative, then it also goes that way. And that one's positive, it also goes uh, that way. Positive works that way no matter what. Negative works that way no matter what. That's how the uh, bridge rectifier works. It uh, makes sure one side gets positive, one side gets negative, no matter what the polarity is on there. Now it also goes up to, I think, 170 volts. Um, I think it can be kind of iffy, but like 120 volts is kind of the average. I think it's called root mean square. So we're going to uh, plug, um, you know, I could use a different uh, plug right there, but usually I use the barrel plug because I have a lot of barrel plug stuff right there. And um, so yeah, it's uh, set to uh, six volts. As I said before, now we have 30 volts right there. We're going to see that we can get uh, some conversion. So it doesn't matter, again, which side's negative, which side's positive for attaching the alligator clips. I'm going to turn the uh, power on. And it looks like it takes a little while to, uh, uh, you know, get uh, going. But there you can see, it says a little bit more than 0.25 amps. So this is a 6 ohm resistor. And uh, so I think you can see that again. I think I showed that already. But yeah, 6 ohm resistor up to like 50 watts, but you should probably keep it below 25 watts. And I can't remember what J is. I think that may be uh, tolerance. Um, so I don't think that's a perfect 6 ohm resistor. And this isn't a perfect 6 uh, volts coming out. Um, but in any case, if it was perfectly 6 ohms, uh, perfectly 6 volts, we would have 1 amp of current flowing through there. Of course, you need some power in the conversion and stuff. Um, so it wouldn't line up perfectly, but if it did line up perfectly and uh, we had 24 volts and t fortunately 24 volts is uh, too low. I think I can go to 26. Looks like we're doing pretty well, but 25 there you can see, boom, we just lost power. And uh, so I didn't even know if 30 volts would be high enough. But yeah, there you can see when I go back to 26, it takes a little bit, but it kicks in. Uh, but here you can see at 26 uh, volts, we need more current to power everything. And when we go to 27 volts, 28 volts. So as we keep raising this uh, voltage, we need less and less current. It's uh, converting power, not perfectly again. Again, if it was perfectly, then at 24 volts, we would need 0.25 amps. If we dropped it to 12 volts and it would work, 
um, then we need about 0.5 amps if it was a perfect conversion, but it's not. So now I thought we would do some multimeter measurements. We're gonna start off with voltage right there. That's very important because we're working with uh, voltage. And we uh, don't remember which side's positive, which one's negative. Okay, that side's negative right there. This is a uh, center positive. Um, this metal part out here for both uh, connectors should be the negative side of the power supply. And then where they connect together in the middle, where there's a pin on the uh, male one, um, should be uh, the positive inside there, center positive. And uh, there's uh, some stuff where it's uh, center negative. But there you can see, it's actually uh, six volts. So I think it was measuring uh, lower before, but it could also be how I was holding the probes. So I really like that. That's a uh, solid six volts right there. So that's uh, good. When uh, I remove this, for some reason it was lower before, as I said before. So as I said before, it is center positive. So I wanna put the uh, red probe in there. The only time I hear of center negative so far is for guitar pedals. And um, there you can see. So we got a higher voltage there, 6.3, but we don't have a load. But again, we did basically have six when we had a load. So, so but yeah, looks like we actually hit six pretty good. I didn't think it was going to do that good. And uh, there you can see we get a negative voltage if we put this backwards. So this is basically zero volts. That's the way to think of it. And then the red probe, uh, whatever you attach it to, there's always a voltage difference. This is a voltage difference of uh, negative 0.6 volts. So we know that's more negative right there by about six volts than the center. So um, now if we make the outside zero, Remember, it was more negative when we had probes the other way. Now, uh, the center is more positive right there. Um, so that's always zero volts. That's the voltage in relationship to it. So if you see a negative voltage, basically you got the probes uh, backwards. So now, we're also going to measure. There's all kinds of stuff we can measure with this. Um, is the resistance. So we uh, probably won't do too well trying to measure from that. I'd have to keep a probe on the uh, pin pretty steady. So now there's no power being applied. That's important for uh, resistance. And uh, I'm just gonna go to where the uh, two screw terminal are. So it looks like it's probably closer to uh, 6.5 ohms of resistance there. Although there is some resistance where we have the connectors and uh, the uh, screws and how I'm measuring this. Um, so it may be more uh, accurate here. We'll see if it's lower here. If we do see that it's lower here again, it's a little awkward to a measure, then that will let me know that, uh, you know, doing the uh, screws wasn't as good. So it looks like it might be a spec lower, but yeah, this is probably a 6.5 ohm resistor. So um, we're asking even less current than I expected because it's slightly higher uh, value resistor. There's gonna be slightly less uh, current. So we got a little more waste than, you know, I kind of expected, but uh, resistors are not perfect. There's a tolerance. Uh, they're usually off by a little bit, but they're usually close to their rated value. So now, for some reason, that other meter did not want to measure current. Uh, the screen was just blank. So this one, I have set to uh, 20 amps. I moved the red probe to the amp setting. We can only measure uh, 200 milliamps or less with this particular meter, if you put the red probe right there. Um, so we definitely got to raise the current. We're going to have more than uh, 200 milliamps. This has a power button uh, right there. Um, so uh, I suggest when you turn the power off, make sure you set everything back to uh, measure uh, voltage because you can, um, you know, blow a fuse if uh, you try to take a current measurement when you're not supposed to. So in any case, we had to open up the circuit. I had to remove the wire from there. I stuck the red probe there. Now current can also flow uh, through the meter and then back, you know, through the circuit right there. We're just bridging the uh, gap right there. Just gonna hold my finger right there. But yeah, we had, uh, looks like six volts uh, coming out of there, but it's 6.5 ohms. So it looks like we're getting probably about 0.94 amps, 940 milliamps um, through the circuit there, whereas uh, the power supply only has to provide 0.266 amps in this case, because we have a higher voltage coming in than what we're coming out. Basically, uh, we convert the power, not perfectly, but uh, we do have conversion there. So again, as I said before, um, I'm gonna turn it off, but uh, I'm gonna get this set so that, uh, or there's voltage over there, just in case. I try to measure voltage sometime later on with this one. I'll go to 1000 volts right there. Um, you know, 
having it high, set to a higher voltage than you're going to measure is perfectly safe. You don't want it set to uh, lower settings compared to what you measure. And then normally I have this power supply set to uh, 5 volts. So I'm going to put that back right there and uh, lower the current. So if I do accidentally uh, try to pass too much current, this is going to stop at 20 uh, milliamps, which is usually how I set it because usually I'm just like lighting LEDs and stuff um, right there. Turn the power supply off. So yeah, in any case, uh, this went on pretty long, so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.